Welcome to what will now be known as simply The Chronicles. So we're going to come in and dive right into uh, some Q&A. Uh, there were two questions that a lot of people kept asking, so I'm going to answer those two questions right now. And the first question was, what's the average income for a motor coach operator? And your answer is, annually you could be looking at anywhere from $25,000 to $60,000 or more, or probably less, uh, that just depends on what company you work for and it also depends on how much experience you have as a driver. Each company pays differently. It just depends on what company you decide to work for. And the second question that I got a lot uh, was how do you become a motor coach operator? So there are probably like three parts to this question. Uh, the first answer is you need a CDL. You need a commercial driver's license. Uh, class A or Class B. A lot of people already have a Class A because they are truck drivers um, or, or they operate farm equipment. I know some, some farm equipment requires you to have a Class A. Some farm equipment requires you to have a Class C. But a majority of the drivers that I run into, they already have a class A and they ask me all the time, what do they need to do to become a motor coach operator? Well, you have to have a class A or B with a passenger endorsement and no air brake restriction because a motor coach has air brakes. So if you have an air brake restriction on your class A or your class B, then you're not going to be able to operate uh, a motor coach. The second part of this question uh, you have to find a company that is willing to train you as a new driver if you have no experience. Uh, most people are referred to Greyhound. That's an example of a company because they train you from, the, from, from scratch. They build you from the ground up. If you go to Greyhound, I think that's like a three-month program. It might be longer than that, but... They really work with you. They help you get your uh, uh, CDL and your passenger endorsement. I don't know if they still do it, but I know they used to. Uh, and, and they take you out and they train you on how to be a motor coach operator. And then they hire you on with the company and you go from there. Uh, a lot of things have changed with Greyhound because they had a lot of people coming just to get the uh, training and the endorsement and then they would leave and go somewhere else. So I'm pretty sure some things have changed with Greyhound. But uh, there might be other companies out there that train also. Um, I know the first company that I went to, I only had a Class A. I didn't have any endorsements. Uh, so that company train me and help me obtain my passenger endorsement so you might have some companies out there that do that but what you have to do you have to do what i did i got on the phone and i called and i had a whole list of companies that i called but i didn't have to go through that list i called like the first two and they said no and then the third one just happened to be the company that i worked for and got my start with and they told me to come on We'll train you, and that's how I got my go-ahead, and I got my passenger endorsement. So the third part to that question, uh, you really need to contact your local Department of Public Safety Driver License Division and ask them what you need to do to become a motor coach operator because they will tell you what parts of the the driver manual you need to study and they'll tell you um, what you need to do to go and get your DOT physical done, uh, preliminary physical and all the information. They'll be able to tell you more than uh, I can tell you because it's been a long time since I went through the process but 
I could tell you that, that if you call your Department of Public Safety Driver License Division, they'll be able to tell you exactly what you need to uh, acquire to get your uh, commercial driver license, get your passenger endorsement. Uh, they'll, they'll let you know everything that you need to become a motor coach operator. Thank you so much for watching The Chronicles. And I'll be sure to keep you updated and keep you posted as this journey progresses.